there everyone. Thank you so much for coming back. It's time again to remodel an architect home. As you can see in the tab up there, I haven't looked at it yet. Alyssa over at Sam's Therapy picked house number one on a small lot for me to do. And it's rather dark, so I'm going to go ahead and place a um, weather machine in here so we can see it just a little bit better because I want to take a look at the house too for the first time here. So let's get a weather machine in there and we'll see what it looks like in the daytime and get a nice first impression. Okay, so I can already tell this is very nice. That's always good. I like how they've done the exterior here and I like the shape of the house. I like that back covered porch. This kind of looks familiar though to me. I'm not sure where I've seen this before. I think I may have actually done one kind of like that, but I don't think this is one of my old houses by any means, but I like that back covered porch. And again, I really like the shape of the house as well. So this is the front here. They have that pretty gate around it and you come into this little entryway right here that's very well decorated with some plants and a pretty light fixture. And then you come in here and this is not necessarily my style of decorating, but I have to say they have great taste. This looks really nice. And I'm already liking the layout. Over here's the kitchen. I probably would have opened it up a little bit more, but they put some nice French doors there. And I like how they've used the old chalet kitchen items and then that nice island there. And you have a nice view out the front. Coming back through that middle room, you have the staircase and the dining area here. And again, they've used a chalet, but they've mixed it with some of the newer items. And I really like it when people mix newer and older items together. So here's the covered porch here with that nice desert fireplace out there. And then over here you have what looks like sort of a living room, but also there's a computer desk there, a guitar, a keyboard, and some records so they've made it like a maybe like a den and then there's another room over here it looked like a bathroom and then you have what looks like the TV area up here and please excuse my voice today I just had dental surgery a few days ago and it didn't go well and I won't go into details but anyway here's a little bedroom here that's really cute so yeah, if my voice is a little off today, just know that I'm having some very bad side effects. That must have been a closet. I'm not sure. And then it looks like the game has taken out some items in this bedroom. And I also like how they chose the chalet flooring. That's one of my favorite flooring still. I love that floor. And then a very well decorated bathroom here. And that bathroom though, how do you get to it? Okay, so you get to it only from this next bedroom, it looks like. There's a closet there in the middle of the upstairs. I may have to fix that so everyone has access to the bathroom upstairs. That's the only thing I don't like about the floor plan is, yeah, there's no door to that bathroom other than from what looks to be the master bedroom. So I may take that middle room and make it into a passageway. As far as improving on the house, I mean, the house is great the way it is. Um, for purposes of buying the house, and I'm just taking a look here while I'm talking about what I might do about the upstairs. For inventory purposes, you're going to get some of the rose gold items from the chalet that some people don't have. But honestly, there's not a lot of new stuff in here. But... I really like this house a lot. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take that middle closet up there and do something with that about the bathroom. But other than that, I'm just going to go in and strip it down because really there's no improving on it at all. It's great the way it is. I'm not going to try to top the decorating on the house because I think they did a great job. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go in and just strip it all down and just make it something entirely different. So you know, that's pretty much what I plan on doing. 
So let's take one last look at the before, and then when I come back, we will see what I managed to do with this house. Okay, so here is the after, and for some reason, I was just in the mood to do blue. I never do blue homes. I use blue items in houses all the time, but I don't think I've ever made a blue-themed house. If I did, it was years ago, so you would have to look on my channel for that, but this is definitely a blue-themed house inside and out. I kept the same gate. Um, the benches were a little asymmetrical. I fixed those. I fixed the walkway to be more symmetrical. And then I used some of those flowers that have the blue flowers in them. And then back here you can see I've used a blue umbrella table, a couple of blue in the plants there, and the bluish gray trash can in the back, a little blue swing. And like I said, I really love the shape of this house and I really did like the layout except for that one little thing upstairs that now I want to show you what I did with the decorating. So let's go in and remember I don't change the walls. This is the entryway here. I put that little uh, bench here where you hang your hats and put your shoes. I think it was upstairs in one of the bedrooms down here and then just decorated a nice buffet table here for the entryway. So here is that entrance room. And I've made it more into like a greeting room. I've put two of the blue love seats there with a white coffee table and that pretty rug. And I've also used those beautiful plants there on each side with the peacock feathers in them. And I love that light fixture there in the middle. And then you have the blue accent walls with the kind of ivory opposing it. And the same color scheme is gonna be in every room. <laughs> but I used the large blue sofa and the armchair in here. And then you have the white TV stand there, the blue flower pot. Um, you can see straight into that entryway room. And there's a desk there in that little nook that was already built into the house. And you have a pretty view of the landscaping outside from that room. And I like the seashore paintings there. that has a little bit of blue in those. Here is the new kitchen. I completely, again, stripped that out. It had the chalet in there. It looked great. But I put one of the passageways through there and the beautiful blue cabinets. I like how the rugs pop out with the blue. I love the light fixtures above the bar area. And I found that blue oven in my inventory and it went perfectly with this kitchen set. And then over here in this little nook, there was nothing there. So I put one of those rolling kitchen islands over there. And then here's a better look at the passage through to the covered porch area from the kitchen sink. This is the new look of the dining room. I've kept the staircase in here, but put it on a different wall. Put a wine rack, a wine shelf in there, and added some accent walls there for interest. And I love that table there with those blue chairs. So let's open up the doors here and go out onto the covered porch. You can see through to the kitchen. We'll just pretend that maybe some blinds pull down. I don't know why they don't do that. and you, That way you can kind of close it off. But I put the light blue modular sofa out here. I kept the fireplace that they had and put some blue bar stools there. And then you come through the door here to the bath and laundry room. And I've used this beautiful wallpaper in here with that pretty sink. And then I put some laundry shelves there and put a laundry basket on top. And there's the washer and dryer. And in this little room here, they had that empty, I believe. I use that as the toilet room and just put the toilet and toilet paper holder there. So that is what the downstairs looks like for this blue themed house. I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. So let's go upstairs and you can see I have turned this room into sort of the library. So you have some newspapers there and these pretty blue sofas up here that are different from the ones downstairs. They're more traditional. And I've put that white loft bookshelf. It has some blue items on it. I thought it went great. And you saw this before, but I just wanted to give you a closer up of the balcony and some blue paintings over the staircase. So that used to be a closet there where you see the archway. Now, all of the bedrooms and that reading area has access to this bathroom. Now, there is a front window on the other side of this shower, but I wanted to put a shower in here, a large one, and it just looks like from the outside like a curtain you can see here 
just looks like there's a curtain out there. So it doesn't really matter. We're just pretending anyway. Because I wanted to have a four-piece bathroom upstairs for all the bedrooms. So this is what I would call the master bedroom. I think it's the largest bedroom. This bed looks so pretty with that blue wreath over it. And then I have those blue pictures there on the right side there. And then I hung the blue photography bag. There's a blue love seat, a light blue, like a pastel blue on the walls, a pretty white dresser with a blue seashell, and then the closet there in the front. This is the second bedroom upstairs. And this one's a little brighter. I love that striped bedspread there with those paintings over it. And I've used the same paint color that I used for accent walls downstairs and in the white clock there and they have a pretty view of the flowers there on the balcony the closets right there and then they have their TV center here with another coordinating painting beside that and I thought these floors went really well in this house with the blue so over here you have that really small bedroom that was already here so I turned it into a toddler's room and I think this is the cutest little bedroom. I think it looks really nice. All the little accents are blue. You have the pretty blue rug. They have their own TV in here. Closets right there. That was also empty, I believe. And I'm trying to give you a better view of it here. I just think it's a cute, cute little room. Perfect room for a toddler or a nursery for an infant. So that is the second floor of this remodel, which I've turned into a blue themed house. And next we are going to take a look at where I've put everything. I just wanted to give you an overview here of what it all looks like. And again, thank you to the people who taught me how to take the square off my screen to show you everything. So here is what the landscaping now looks like. And I just noticed I forgot to move one of those benches back over where it belongs, but that's okay. That's the entryway there. And then you saw the entrance room, the gathering room, I guess, or the greeting room. That was the living room there. And here is what the kitchen looks like now and the covered porch. And then there's the dining room here and the staircase and the bathroom and laundry, the half bath and laundry. And then you come upstairs to the library and the balcony there. And you can see where I've just turned that into a passageway into the bathroom so that all of the rooms upstairs would have access to the bathroom. There's the master with the closet and the second bedroom with its closet. And then the cute little toddler's room there with the closet. So I really had fun redecorating this house. I think the person who designed it and decorated it in the first place did an excellent job. So I wanted to let them know that if they watch the channel. And I also want to thank Alyssa over at Sims Therapy for picking this house for me. Some architect homes are really fun to remodel and some are not and some are in between, but I really enjoyed this one. And if you enjoyed watching how I remodeled this home, please let me know by leaving me a like or a comment or both. I appreciate hearing from you. And if you're new here or coming from the Facebook group, welcome and please consider subscribing. Thanks to everyone for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. I love you. Take care and I will see you in the next video.